It is giveaway time at foottrading.co.uk. Dan and I want to say thank you to you guys for an insane start to 2021. So a lucky site subscriber is going to win the rest of FIFA 21 completely and utterly free. Uh, if you're debating trying us up till now, now's your chance to get involved. If you're already using us, we want to say thank you to you guys. So yeah, enjoy it. Hopefully one of you guys will enjoy trading on FIFA 21 for free for the rest of the game. Just so you know, £10 a month gets you access to buying prices for icons, specials and silvers, as well as Thursday flips. And £15 per month gets you access to the Life Filters area and the Gold Chem Style area with two new additions in the pipeline for you guys too. Way better value than any FIFA points you will ever open. Way better value than most trading services. So what are you waiting for? Get involved. Check out foottrading.co.uk. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below. As I record this, we're about to hit 19,000 subscribers on the channel. The aim was to 20,000 by... The 11th of February, so I'm sure we're going to break that, hopefully, and beat that target. Uh, but if you want to make money, make coins on this game, learn how to craft packs, and just generally see three really what I like to think are good uploads a day, consistent content, and a stream on YouTube every day, then make sure you subscribe down below. Smash the like button, let's get this video to 150 likes, and comment down below anything you want to see. But we are back doing it, back at it, on the uh, road to 5 million coins. Um, and if you're wondering why the coin total was taking a hit from last time, I've been hamming out League SBC during team of the year to really get the club to the level that I want it to be so you guys can see loads of packs from League SBC so I've got absolutely ham on League SBC we've also bought a couple of players at times bits and bobs like that so we set ourselves back but then we work back towards where we want to be now and that play is going to be all about fodder so I record this this morning it is Monday morning and we're going to see either today or tomorrow we're going to see that 83 plus double I assume again which may be an 82 rated or an 83 rated team I'm going to be investing quite hard into 83s I think that's my plan uh, the fodder should come up either way We've had supply, we've had content, we've had lightning rounds yesterday, we've had squad battle rewards, something we've buying into fodder. I'm going to go ahead and get that done now, show you what we bought, the prices we paid, and hopefully show you guys, once we sold it, where we were at. I will be right back. All right, guys, so we've been buying fodder all morning. Um, different price points for different cards. So I've been, I checked Footbin, had a look at what the cards did uh, into, last, into the last sort of 83 plus upgrade in the fodder and whatnot. And some cards spike massively uh, up to like 7 or 8k, some go to sort of 4 or 5k. Uh, Van der Beek's we were buying into the 3k this morning. I don't think there's much risk in those at 3k. Moutinho's at 3.5. These got to sort of 5.5, 5, 6,000 before. Uh, Coutinho, we actually picked a few of these up for 2.5k and below, which is good. But we've got all these guys here on the transfer pile and then stacks upon stacks in the store area. Now, the problem I've got is I don't want to buy too much of this stuff because I've got to get it sold. Um, but where I will probably sell is in the hype initially of that SPC coming out. A lot of people will go and buy them as the SPC comes out they'll go and buy them as they're rising, and that's when I'll sell them. It may mean I make slightly less profit, but it means I get rid of them in the long term. Um, but I'm going to continue to buy them today. I want to show you how a fodder play plays off, see how it goes. It might not. I might lose coins. You never know. Um, but I'm going to keep buying them up, keep making making investments into them. I'm not going to put all my coins into it, obviously, but I'm going to put a lot of them in, possibly another five to 600,000 coins. Um, and again, if I can buy, I don't know, 300 cards today, 400 cards today, and make a 1,000 coins profit per card, you're looking at 400,000 coins profit with very little effort, very little work. And again, very little market knowledge. Trading doesn't mean you have to be the brainiest guy in the world to be able to pay stocks and shares. You've just got to check footbin graphs, footbin and footwiz trends so you get an idea of what's happening. Um, once you start doing that, you start to realise how the market works and how it reacts. It's easy to make coins on this game. So I'm going to continue to do that, continue to buy up. Next time you guys see me, will probably be on my stream uh, as we await what EA drop at 7.30 or whatever it is for Team of the Year now. So I'll be right back. Right, guys, so in total, I've gone 1.7 million coins deep into fodder. Um, and now I've seen a lot of people say what happens if the 83 plus doesn't come out, double, whatever. Number one, you're going to need fodder at some point either way. And the market's only going to rise in a lot of time on this sort of stuff. But number two, the most important thing you have to understand when you fodder invest, and that's whether it's in rare golds, because EA have just dropped the premium upgrades for all the leagues now as well, is never underestimate the power of a lazy buyer. If EA don't drop these and I hold them for 24 more hours, I will literally just list these on mass. I'll get every Paulino I've got and overlist it for 1k, and every hour I'll get a buy. Someone will give me one, two, three buys from it, and that's something that you have to remember with any sort of mass buying and mass listing like this, you can make profit that way. When I bought into Indomblade the other day, it didn't go as well as I wanted to, so I mass listed them well above the price it actually sells for, and people were continually buying them. And so it's important that you realise that when you buy these cards, it isn't just a case of if the SBC doesn't come out and you're screwed, you can mass list them. But um, it literally is one minute until the content is supposed to drop, so fingers crossed, we do get that content and I can get this sold for decent profit. Um, but for note, for those of you who don't, who've got your rares, those of you who invest in rares and have been waiting for them to sell, now is your time to sell. The rares are starting to climb because of all these upgrades here. 
Again, mass list them over the price. Let's say Rares get to 1,200 coins. If you've got, I don't know, Wesley from Aston Villa, list 15 of them up at a time at 1.4, 1.5k, you will sell a huge amount of them at a time to lazy buyers. Never underestimate the power of a lazy buyer. We're going to wait and see if the 83 plus drops, and if not, I'll let you know what the plan is from there. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and here we are with it. The 83 plus midfielder upgrade has dropped, and it does require an 83 rated team. Um, does that mean all my stuff's going to fly ridiculously high? No, not at all. But I put 1.7 million coins of fodder into this. So now what I do is wait for the 83 to climb and then list them up in the hype as it goes right now. Um, but it's a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer for me to do it. And I will, if I need to, again, I will lazy list them above the price if the, the price comes down very, very quickly. But it won't. I've probably got an hour or two now to really get the stuff listed up, make a good, good profit from it. So yeah, 1.7 million coins put into it. We'll see how we do. I will see you soon. All right, guys, so 83s are now starting to rise quite nicely. Bit by bit, I'm selling them. When you sell fodder, I can't stress this enough because I've seen too many people doing it now. Do not mass lift your fodder. One, two cards at a time, sell them, then add more. If you flood the market, you'll lose coins. It's your fault. But for me, Moutinho, one at a time, two at a time, listing for 4-4. Four, four. He's getting a nice gradual rise in him. Pick up about 1,000 coins a card so far for Moutinho, which is very good. Van der Beek, I've mass listed. Now, why have I mass listed him? He hasn't really seen that big a rise so far. So I've mass listed him to pretend to lazy buyers. So I'm not bringing the market down. I'm sitting him well above everything else, looking for a lazy buyer to buy him at a higher price than he's actually going for right now because lazy buyers will buy these cards. If you're going to sell to lazies, mass list above. If you're going to sell what the price is currently selling for in the market, do not mass list because it makes the market get, hold down, get held down. It's a stupid thing to do. Without being blunt, it is a very stupid thing to do. But I'm going to continue to sell these cards bit by bit. It's going to take a long process. I'll keep you guys updated as we go. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the market was very slow to move earlier on, and then suddenly it absolutely rocketed in some cards. So we were getting Van der Beek sold off a little bit for 4K, and then suddenly loads of them sold on that. And then Paulinho and Oscar have both absolutely rocketed. So there's two sevens and three eights on, on Paulinho. And then, yeah, as we're going now, they're starting to sell for 4-4 four, four and 4-5. Four, so I don't know what's happened if people are not using those cards, because Van der Beek's still, still, still quite cheap at the moment. We've made about 1,500 coins per Paulinho so far, and I've got loads of Paulinho to sell. So it's been a long night for me. What's supposed to be an early night probably isn't going to be an early night. Um, but yeah, we're up at 2.3 mil now with everything starting to sell. The market's coming up. Weirdly, Kovacic and Jorginho have both come down. And I don't get what's going on massively. But Jorginho was at 4.3 was early on. He's now down at 4. And Kovacic's down at 3.7. So I have to lazy list those. Van der Beek, again, is still quite low. From what I've seen of Van der Beek, he's not... Let's have a little look to be sure. He's at 3-4 at the moment. So I've got profit on him no matter what happens. But I find it weird the Paulinho spike, but they haven't. So basically my plan now is to get the Paulinos and Oscars out because they're both risen and they're ones I weren't expecting to rise. And then we'll lazy list the rest if we need to. So I'm going to get on with that. I'll get, probably see you next in the morning once I've got a lot sold and where we're at. I will see you then. All right, guys. So continue to sell stuff. Um, basically, Paulinho is what we continue to sell. He's selling 4,400, 4,500. Uh, this guy, I think I've got a few of these hidden behind. Um, he's selling for 3K and I've hit him up 700 coins on bid. Um, I don't, I'm assuming these are SBC solutions, I'm not going to look, but these guys are selling like wildfire at the moment, it is incredible, massive profit for these guys, we're talking between 1,000 and 1,500 coins profit per Paulinho that we've got here, um, and obviously you can see what we're looking at, what, 50 across these pages here maybe, maybe slightly less, but with the Oscars as well we're selling which we've got maybe eight, 900 coins in them, and some of the lazy buyers, we've done very, very well so far. I'm hoping we can maybe get 200,000 coins out of it between now and tonight when I sell everything. And then tomorrow during the day, I'm planning on special card training. It's been very, very good for picking deals up recently and people aren't really doing it. I think people are scared of the market. So again, I want to try and break over that 4 million if I can. So plan is to continue selling these guys, clear them off the transfer pile. I don't want to keep coming back to you what we're selling and showing you it all, but I do want to show you that we're following, following, following by sometimes you've got to be a bit patient, wait for that FBC solution. Lazy buyer things aren't going, uh, lazy sell, sorry, things aren't going. Um, but those of you that watched the, the stream this morning were panicking to me on my DMs and stuff and saying, oh, stuff not selling. I said, you just lazy list it. Don't panic. Don't stress. It'll come together. This is exactly what I mean. When the market calms down on it, stuff starts to rise. Less supply, market goes up. So basically tonight, loads of supply from packs, held them down, and now they're all steadily coming up bit by bit by bit. Some of the cards I've bought haven't really risen at all. No, put me lying to you. Akuna, I paid between 3 and 3.5, and he's at 3.6, I think, mass listed. So I'm not going to make massive profit of him unless I lazy list him. Some of them I won't bother to lazy list because it's not worth my time. I'll just sell them for the small profit they've got or the break even. Um, because if I spend the next 24 hours selling for them and making next to nothing off of them trying to lazy list, it's a waste of my time. I can go and put that coin, those coins elsewhere. But yeah, going to continue to list these guys up, continue to make profit. Hopefully, break past the 4 million barrier by the time this video ends. But we'll see how it goes. I'll be right back. 
Right, guys, so it's the next morning now, and we continue to sell the fodder bit by bit. So we're up to 2.7 million. As I said yesterday, Pauline did extremely well. We've dropped down a little bit now, but because I bought well under 3k, 3k and under is really what I paid for him. He's been a massive profit maker for me. Some of them I bought for like 2.5 and sold for 4.4 yesterday. Like, you're talking 1,700 profit, 1,700 coins profit per card, which is very, very good. Uh, Van der Beek's been selling well to Lazies, 3738s. Oscar's done fantastically well, 2.7 on him. I think the most I paid for an Oscar was 2-2, but most of the time it was 1-9 to 2-1. And again, it's about quantity with fodder. When you're buying fodder and selling it, it's about the amount you buy and the amount you sell. And if you're not selling at the right price at the right times, that's when you get caught out. So for example, I didn't rush to sell my fodder yesterday. I waited. I let all the hype die down. The people that panic list and panic list their stuff, wait for that to come off the market. And now as I've woken up this morning, a lot of the cards that weren't up yesterday are starting to rise. So Acuna and Coutinho, I've got them lazy listed at the moment. At sort of one, 200 coins above what they're selling for. So I'm not bringing the market down, but they'll get picked up bit by bit as people come to do that SBC. And it's so important that when you invest into anything on this game, when you buy anything on this game, you do not panic sell. There's no point in panic selling. It will go eventually. Even if you buy fodder and two days later you have to sell it, if you're willing to hold, you'll see some sort of return. Because what happens tonight is EA might turn around and go, okay, cool, let's drop a really good value SBC that everyone wants to do and 83 spike again. If you panic sold your stuff, then realistically you're going to get screwed over in the long term. So for me, that's exactly what I've done. I'm just chilling on it today. I'm going to get as much listed as I can between now and then because I want to do some special card trading before you guys see this video, if I can. There's no guarantee. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to continue to sell and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we continue to sell and we're up at nearly 3.4 million coins back now. Um, we've pretty much got a full transfer list of cards still to sell. I think we've still got about 100 left as well in the background. So even now in the store, we're still 50 on the side. I tried to keep a track of it in terms of what I bought, what I've sold. But I think there's about 200 cards left to sell, give or take, maybe a little bit more than that. So still got some in the club as well that I sent them as like ones of each of them, which is mad. So basically, even if you average it out at about 3.5k, though some are going for 4k plus and whatnot, we're looking at about 300,000 coin profit in the long term from this investment. Now, for what was basically a 24 hour hold, if that, I'm very happy with that. 300,000 coins is a lot of coins to make back um, from spending what we spent. It will be more than that, I think. I think we're probably close to 400,000. Um, I, I just don't know how many cards I've got still to come. But as I said before, I'm going to continue to sell these cards. It's important that you understand with fodder, and I've said it before and I'll say it again in this video, there is no rush to sell it. As long as you're buying at low prices, it doesn't matter. At some point, that fodder will be needed, especially when there's FPCs and like a promo like Team of the Year that you know full well. You're going to need 83s at some point for the 83 plus double, um, like Defender, Attack and Befielder FPCs that are coming out. Yeah, you're going to bring out some from the FPC that's going to be hyped enough for people to want to do it. You've got Icon SBCs in the game, which keep the prices up to a certain degree as well. Um, so yeah, right now is a great time to be fodder buying. That's the whole point of this video, to show you how easy it is. But you've just got a patience and you've just got to be willing to sell bit by bit by bit. You don't want to be listing up too much. If you're going to mass list, mass list well over the price, you will get bites, people will buy them. If not, one, at, one or two at a time at the price they're currently selling for, it keeps the market up. Uh, but yeah, going to keep going, keep going and keep going. Hopefully we'll hit 4 million um, once everything sells. I'd like to show you the end of the video, that 4 million if we can. Again, we've sort of got to think about time constraints in terms of the fact this video needs to be with the editor. Um, but those who have done this with me on stream, those who have done, me, uh, done it with me as I did it in the videos before, this is how you guys sell your stuff. So when you guys sort of comment down below and say, when do I sell this, what do I do and whatnot, you've got to be active, look at the market and go, okay, cool, that card's up, so we're going to start selling that one. That one's not quite up yet, so either I'm going to overlist that card for lazy buyers or I'm going to hold it until it gets up eventually when it's needed for... Some form of fodder that needs that sort of card. Uh, but yeah, so fodder buying done very well so far. Going to continue. I will be right back. All right, guys, we've broken into profit now. 3.79 million. Uh, I was about to go to 3.8 million. Still with loads of stuff selling on the transfer pile and more stuff in the club. Um, some advice for you guys in terms of fodder investing in the coming days. Fodder is going to be needed. It's going to come without a doubt. But it's all about when you buy in. And for me, we've got lightning rounds tonight with defenders, which is a good time to buy in without a doubt. Uh, we should see a heavy hit in the market. And then we're going to get continual promo packs now between now and whenever the game comes out, uh, whenever the SBCs come out, sorry. The thing you've got to think about with fodder is when is the lowest point going to be? It's going to be of utter mass supply. So tonight, like them, like them will do quite well. Tomorrow, less so, I think. The day that I think fodder does extremely well in terms of buying into it is going to be Thursday. Thursday, you've got the lightning rounds probably for the whole team release. You've got division rival awards coming out, which is going to bring the market down massively. Um, and then obviously you're going to have everyone stacking packs up. They've been stacking for full team release. So I think Fodder could do very well on Thursday. But again, you've seen I've been patient. I've been chilling today throughout that. I'm not going to get time to do special card trading because I'm still selling stuff off. I actually think we might push over 4 million relatively easily once everything is sold. It might be slightly below that. But for what has taken me 
essentially it's been a case of me buying in over the course of a couple of streams and then selling it selling off today bit by bit i've been doing like editing and other bits and bobs uh, that i need to get done for the, this video and other videos um and recording bits of other videos it's not that much work really we're talking maybe six seven hours work for sort of three hundred thousand coins profit relatively cheap relatively easy work um so yeah really happy with it so far gonna keep selling and i will see you soon and like guys we've broken up over the four million coin mark uh zakaria is just basically like we get rid of him <laughs> essentially this is what we have left to sell now. We've got a few bits and bobs. We should probably break to value 4, 4 million 50 coins. I've got a couple more in the club, I think, of, of 83s. Uh, but Zakaria has been a bit of a bust. He's the only one that hasn't really gone up. If anything, it's just gone down as the day's gone on. So we made, we made sort of a minor loss on him, but massive profit elsewhere. So it doesn't matter. It offsets it completely. Um, but yeah, we sort of we can let, keep lazy listing him and get 3,500 coins for a maximum. Or I'm just doing what I'm doing now. I'm just clearing him up for like 3 1, 3 2. Just get him sold off because tonight, obviously, is defenders. Lightning rounds, market's going to crash. Uh, but that is basically for the uh, investing in a nutshell. Most important rules to follow investing spread your bets across numerous cards, rinse and repeat. If EA are doing something and you know they keep doing it, buy into that because that generally tends to pay off quite well. Um, and be patient. Don't be that guy that's like, well, the market's not rising, it's rush show and whatnot. Yesterday I was patient, I held off. My Paulinos then rose massively, so did Oscar. Uh, so did Donny van der Beek, he climbed quite a bit overnight. Take your time. Don't wait. Don't rush yourselves. And make sure when you're selling, one or two at a time. Leave the market up. Get one or two sold. Then replace those with new cards. If you list 15 in a row, everyone's just going to undercut you and then get undercut themselves. And it brings the market of these cards down. But up over 4 million coins now is very, very nice. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. 350,000 coins made in 24 hours. You love to see it. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.